Philosophy. Like you had a cold open ready, I didn't have a cold open ready. There's no cold open. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it's because my uh, CPU time is whack because I'm f f stupid. That's why. That's why. Like, I have more hours played on the one where it says it's my time traveled an hour back into the past. God, I wish I could do that. No, no, time travel, but only for an hour. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't want to do that. I guess that would be too tempting to use all the time. Like every hour, you would think, was that a good hour? I mean, I would just use it to like. I would just use it to get like the winning lottery numbers an hour before they're announced. So. I don't think you can do that. Why not? Uh, you can buy lottery tickets like an hour before the lottery. Oh. Comes out. I never, I never bought a lottery ticket. Yeah, because you're already rich, yeah. That, why would I I'm buy a lottery ticket? It's a stupid use of money. Uh, I'm already rich too, Joey. I don't need your peasant lottery Why do you keep though? putting words in my mouth that I wasn't going to say? Because it's funny. You annoyed the shit out of me, you know that. Yeah, but no, of course you know, that's why you're doing it. Yeah, because it's funny. <laughs> I genuinely hope, like, there were three tapeworms. In your stomach oh, right now. Three tapeworms in your stomach right now. You can't pretend to be saying what I'm gonna say if you're just repeating what I'm saying. You can't pretend that you're saying what I'm gonna say if you say it after I say it. Uh. I'm glad you're not in the city. They should keep you away from civil society. <laughs> Bold words implying the British are civilized. Oh. Okay, I should probably tell Craven Ash I destroyed the library. And if he wants the. And if he wants the script of the sages, he can read it off my nutsack. <laughs> oh, disturbing news arrived at Iron Hearth regarding your conduct at the Burning Library. I will let your report speak for itself, but let it be known I have misgivings. Ash roys the ends of his beard and looks to you with an air of expectation. First things first, the Edict of Fire. Is it truly over then? I satisfied the terms of Karsa's Edict. Cautious wording, if ever I heard it. Be assured, fate minder, that your conduct is always under scrutiny. Tunon is not the only Archon with a vested interest in your behavior. I have stayed up nights wondering the flames of Kairos Wrath might spread up from the library and consume the whole of the tears, but that is ridiculous. The Overlord would never allow such a fate to befall us. Thank you for putting an old man's fears to rest. Yes, they would. I, I totally see that happening. Yeah. My effort to... My efforts at the Burning Library were successful. Then the Scarlet Chorus have been ousted from the contested lands. And the forbidden knowledge wrenched from their grasp. Tell me more. Merrick is well, in the lo as well and in the contested lands. Good. He can help maintain the peace and ensure that the wisdom of the sages falls into no undeserving hands. Have you anything else to report? I killed the censor and her gang, which is pretty easy. The tears will not miss another louse or brood of a vermin and neither will I. Good work. And I have the silent archive. You? Fatebinder! I thought you were keeping the archive away from prying eyes, not claiming it yourself. Surely you can't help but recognize this as a breach of Karas' law. Mine? No, no, fuck yourself. Need the knowledge of the archive in order to, to conduct the war. Forbidden knowledge that Karas decreed no one should have the freedom to access? I think not, Fatebinder. You would do just as well with honest combat and good sense at your side. Well? No. No. Fuck no, I took his brain. What are our next steps? Our advantage against our enemy grows. We cannot miss an opportunity to strike a decisive victory against the Archon of Secrets. You have been an asset of unsurpassed value, but there is more to be done. Now that we have two regions under our control, the disfavored present is felt almost through all the tears. We are as strong as we have ever been. Ash gives you a determined nod. There's something behind it that takes you by surprise. Then you notice he's gone pale, eyes unfocused. The Archon shakes his head, collecting himself. When he shifts his attention to you, you catch a momentary confusion reflected in his gaze. As if he's trying to account for the last several seconds. I saw that look plenty of times on the family farm, and it's never a good sign. Someone is getting ready to be put out to pasture. General, we await your orders at your leisure. Barrick tips his head at the, Archon's, at the Archon with concern. The uh, time has come for us together, and descend upon the Stone Sea. But the voices in the rats and his gangs that does their miser dug their miserable one. 
Once we've dealt with the Archon, I plan to melt down his twisted helmet and drop it into the deepest ocean. First, we have to secure a base in the region. This will give us a position of strength to rally our fighters and take the war to the Archon's doorstep. Are you ready? You, you look pale, Ash. Is there anything I can do? Viola query is because that damnable Archon of Secrets has vexed me for, too, for far too long. We are better rid of him. Now what have you wasting times on issues that don't concern you? <sighs> he takes several deep breaths and regards you with an intensity you haven't seen before. Do you think we can really defeat him? Do you doubt it? I'm not naive to the Archon's power. The voice in the rat uses madness to cloak brilliance. But never mistake it. He is mad. Cold tactics and logical approach will always win out against the likes of him. Where do we start? I sent an advance unit of his favoured forces into the Stone Sea. The Scarlet Corps presence in the region has them, th has them threatened in the location called Howling Rock. I dispatched a support unit to assist, which you can find at Jagged Moor Shrine. They will need your help clearing a path to Howling Rock. What does the support unit need my help? Ah, a tribe of beastmen occupy the region. They aren't quick to tolerate a human element in what they imagine to be <coughs> their territory. They are no concern of mine, so cut down as many as you see fit to complete the mission. Garb yourselves in their skin, fool that I care. Just get my soldiers through. Beasts are more than capable... Beasts are more than capable fighters. And they ripped more than one of our countrymen to shreds during the conquest. Ash has no love lost for their kind. My Earthshakers have a plan... My Earthshakers have a plan to blight the land, starving the Scarlet Course in their home territory. Offer them any help they need, and see my will done upon the voices of the rat. We are nearly at the end. I can feel the Archon's doom ahead of us like the peace at the end of slaughter. That's an interesting way of putting it. Okay. Ashes for fire. You was for uranium. Bombs. And is for no survivors. When you... Shit. You ex I'm expected to respond to the bar report to the bastard city at once. Be prompt, lest I mistake your tardiness for reluctance. I send confirmation. Fate binder. Forgive me the curtness of the swast missive. The matter is too urgent for the luxury of formalities. I know you breathe the flaming wounds of the Velen Citadel. The archive? Did you find it? It's safe. I've kept it. I'm too dumb to be a liar. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Oh, I see. <coughs> so the Sunset Spire is the one that I can get, but I don't know how. So the other two are from the Stone Sea, so I would have had to do all this stuff to get to them anyway. Okay. <coughs> what I imagine is that if I sided with, say, the... um. Scarlet Core, so I'll be able to access those two first. And then I will get the Legion ones when I attack them. That's how I assume. I mean, I have to replay the game. And I'm still trying to figure out the Sunset Spire. I mean, I have to go to the Bastard City anyway, so it makes it's pretty prudent for me to stop past it. Uh, these spires make things a lot easier. There must be some way I can access the sunset spire. I mean, I'll keep looking. Alright. Excellent, we await your return. Well, I've arrived basically two days ahead after the message, so that's I think that's pretty reasonable. Rarely in my life I've experienced relief to the extent that your missive inspired. No other action you have taken to this point, incredible as many of them as have been, has impressed me so thoroughly. The vagueness of the better uses of which you spoke could concern one with less faith in your judgement. Once the Civil War concludes, you and I shall have to study the archive thoroughly to determine what aspects of it can be saved and which can be purged under the law. At least someone appreciates my light touch. Let's talk. Why didn't you just burn the book? Fatebinder, you return. You look as if you have questions for me to untangle. What did you study when you were younger? I have been a ward of the court for as long as I've been aware. As a child, I demonstrated 
wholly perfect recall, and I absorbed all that Tunana and my tutors had to offer. What do you think of the other fate binders? Needs to be more specific. It involves keen, brash, uh, as the finest among us, the descendant, has been put to pets and on fate among us. What's your opinion of me? For an orderly path, regimented and organized, too orderly for a station, perhaps. But that's neither here nor there, if you execute your job with wisdom. I think that's a fair assessment. What's the, what the fuck's up with the bane? Oh, no one knows. Don't act as supplies. My duty to ensure that those who operate under the educator's name adhere to the spirit of his law, if not the very letter. I have nothing to hide. So you say. But after weigh all evidence presented before me with an objective eye, assume you are being watched, Fatebinder, but don't concern yourself. That's no more than any citizen of the Empire can expect. Okay, she so wants to tell me about the dark corners of the tears, so I suppose I have to do this privately. I confess to no small amount of curiosity, a peek into my share of shadows, and sometimes this can't drop a secret. Do you know about schedules and their casting? I'm a practical magician, not a theorist. If you're looking for the wise, addicted to Rogalus. I'm sure that sigils are derived from the personal marks of the Archons, and my understanding is that it goes a bit deeper than that. That there's something of a question about whether the Archons are stamping their will indelibly on Terratus. Okay, I already know this stuff. Actually, what would be helpful is if you could tell me anything about one of the spires. How long has Carlos been conquering? You beat us when the conquest of the Tears began four years ago, so I assume you meant the Greater Unification. Longer than any save for the Overlord and a handful of Archons have been alive. Oh, wow. Calendar of True Reckoning. Overlord taking time to fortify and establish the Empire in each new conquer land before moving to the next. I gather that's been a very long campaign, a century, maybe two or more. Damn. Have you ever met my, my office? That old loon? Sure, she's read an edict to tomb, maybe in a time, left her a bit rattled, I think. She's largely retired from active service. Okay. Nothing I can glean at the moment. Okay, no one who can really help me with the Sunset Spire here, but I'll save. A pity. But not unexpected. Alright, tune on, you wish to speak with me? Ability on your shoulders. The core to push. Okay. Getting the picture of his voice, if it case it's not voice from here on out. It should come as no surprise that your activities are closely monitored. As an extension of Kairos's law of the frontier, your progress is a topic of some interest. I sent you on a mission to bring order to the chaos of this civil war. Not enough time has passed for me to expect any significant progress, but I am curious about your findings. Thank you, Papa. I understand that you made a name for yourself in the ranks of the disfavored. Good. With the confidence of your soldiers, you should have no trouble moving out corruption or chaos into the hands of these legions. I am happy to be an asset to Carlos's forces. Closer to determining which of 
Do not have sufficient information to make an informed accusation. Hmm. Fair enough. I would say the voice is in the red. Interesting. On what ground do you make this claim? There's a bunch of things. Which ones do I want to do? They smuggled weapons to the Vendrian God? Hmm. Just look at him, he's terrifying. Well, I think the, the first one I'd start with is the smuggling of iron weapons to the Vendrian God. The educator the adjudicator weighs your statement with interest. The space between the eyes and his mask narrows, though the change is too gradual for you to follow. Curious about you, Archon. Curiosity is not a trait that I encourage in my servants. Too often have I witnessed such activity leading down to a path of lawlessness. However, if you feel that a better understanding of me will inform your work, I will allow it. What does it mean to be an Archon, I guess, is probably the only question I have. I'm a figure of power and significance, and under chaos... I'm not even going to try and do his voice, because it has like a voice filter effect on it. Yeah, he does. I can't do it. Under Kaos' mandate, I am able to exercise my authority for the benefit of all. Had I not earned the Overlord's approval, I will not stand tall before you. Oh, oh, I forget. Hold on. I think I can fix it from OBS, but if not, I'll just solve that right now. Oh, epic fail. I'm all right. Uh-huh. Epic fail. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's the streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Oh, how embarrassing. No. Stream manager. There we go. Someone's following me, apparently. Yeah. I'm in the stream right now. Hi. Yes, hi to you. <laughs> Alright then, that should work. Stream is updated. Could anyone become an Archon? Absolutely not. Only a precious few grow into this authority, or it's otherwise to us for descendants of pandemonium. Did Chaos foster your talents, or did you come into it yourself? An astute question. Doubtless I exhibited some spark of potential on my own. Insignificant, though enough to accomplish deeds of note. Only under Chaos' tutorials did I, have I grown to these heights. Is every Archon subservient? All are subservient before Kairos, but I intuit your meaning. The Overlord takes great pains to recognize potential. Before an Archon comes into their power, they have to face the harshest scrutiny by an agent of recruitment, if not Bled and Mark himself. Alright, thank you. It's very helpful. I like I like you too, Norn. You're very nice to me. You're a very nice guy to me, Norn. Except when, like, a mob wants to do your, like, posting cringe. I have a question. Albert, you played this game before, right? Yeah. Is it actually possible for me to get Sunset Spire at this point? Like, just be honest. Or should I just I go... No oh, fuck. Great. Uh...
Just because I really cannot figure it out at this point. I don't have the full uh, scribble of the um, the mark. Not the mark, the um, fucking uh, I can't. Like I don't. The problem is, is I want to know whether or not I can do it now, but I'm. Afraid, I don't really want to get the answer to it. If that makes sense, like, so I can't search up Sunset Spire how to activate because that will give me the answer. You know, Almic, would you mind doing that actually? Okay. Like, if you say it's such a how to activate and just see if it would be like plausible for me to be able to do it now. Does it say how? Well, I mean... No. What the fuck? Great job, Wiki. The, the Wiki basically says, um, uh, if it lets, it's at the crossing, it becomes available once, um, uh, you take inventory as well, which you would start the game. It absolves the Edict of Execution. Well, I've done that, so it should be activatable. I don't know why. Seeing this will be the first fire you can build an upgrade on, it's recommended to get in it. It doesn't. How do I get it? How do I. Yeah. So the, I actually should have got this way earlier, if anything. Yeah, because I have, I have parts of the charcoal rubbing, but not all of it. I don't know if I could get... So if I could get it now, I would... I guess I need to figure out where the charcoal rubbings are, but... What's that? It is rare enough that anyone oh, has shit. the opportunity to proclaim an edict, much less break one. How are you holding up, Fate Binder? The Toyo power is greater than my understanding, and yet I have no chance to stop. At least you are aware of your recklessness. I would be more concerned if the case was otherwise. Take care that you don't exhaust yourself and become worthless to the war effort. Barak looks you up and down with appraisal, keeping any conclusions to himself. What can I do for you? Discuss some immediate concerns. What do you think of our circumstances? The Overlord will not stand for civil war between the Archons. I'd like to think that two would broke a peace, but there is too much hostility. We are not powerless out the situation. We can try to find ways to stop the voices of Noet or discredit him. The voices were eliminated, the course would collapse, and the infighting would cease. We think of the companions. Oh, he actually kind of likes first. Isn't that nice? They both, both admire each other's ability to murder.
Okay, so... So I can unlock it now is what I'm hearing. Um, uh, yes, you just need to do the puzzle. I need to do the charcoal rubbing. I only have part of it, though. It's incomplete. I just don't know where I'm going to get the rest of it. I mean, um, uh, you have two pieces you can look at right now, right? Yes, I have a... It, it kind of merges together, so I think I, ha I have this much. It appears to be kind of like uh, a diamond with triangles going out and then like a circle around it. So maybe I could do it with just this. Let me try. People are saying you can do it with just two of the pieces, though. It seems plausible. But hey, that's just like the game's pretty. Uh, the game's pretty free form as far as I can tell. So, and like, if it was incomplete, like I don't see why either player can work it out if need be. Yeah. That'll be the day. Alright. So I've got to start with the diamond from the center. So. Okay. Okay, hold on. So, this should be... Oh, I can actually keep this open, so this will be helpful. Nope, that's not going to work. You said that? I've got it. Okay. Now this is actually very con mm. no wait, I think I think I see it. Okay. I think I can figure this out. Just have to be careful. So these do curve. Oh no, mm, this might be a bit more than I expected. Nope, that's wrong. Okay. We know that there's a circle. I know that there's a circle going around the edges, and we also know that there is a diamond shape. The question is, how do I get that diamond shape? Okay, so, there's, so each corner has a triangle? Yes, each corner has a triangle. So a I, don't, I actually don't know if it's complete enough to do, because there's triangles here. But this isn't actually what's reflected on the spire's map. Like, there's no triangles on the outside. There is a circle, that much I can tell. There are triangles, but they don't... Hmm, what? There are triangles on the... Okay, hold on. I think... Okay, wait, wait, no. I think I got it. Uh... No, that can't be right. I mean, no, wait. Yes. That's two of the triangles done, so now I just have to repeat for the other side, I think. Okay, this should be it, I think. If it isn't, then I don't know. Yes! I got it. I did it. Another spire for the king, baby. <laughs> Shit, I, I just realized I named the stream Sunset Spire because I thought it might have taken a little longer than that. <laughs> Woo! Okay, got the Sunset Spire. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you later, fuckers.
Happy Pog Day. Sansa's point in Lydian's crossing feels burdened by its age, as if a central linchpin somewhere in its cause weathered the centuries of oppressive weight and longs to topple. Oh, that's reassuring. The surge of energy that courses through you, forming a link with Vendrian's well, strengthens the very stone beneath your feet. Oh, good. So the structural weakness you detect vanishes, replaced by confidence that can keep this stand tower standing for millennia. And tell me where you're writing from, Landry speaks loud as he pens a missive. And how to reach you, and I will send you an iron ring for your troubles. He signs his name with a flourish, tosses the parchment into the wind, and in the blink of an eye, the heavy currents carry the slip of parchment eastward. I had this idea of a message in a bottle without the bottle. Maybe it'll work. If I threw a dagger from up here, I wager you could split a man on the ground in half. Damn, but I want to try. From here, even the old walls seem paltry. The sovereign view was not intended for the likes of us. Well, let's get that forge, because that's actually some shit I need to craft, or want to craft at the very least. Hell yeah. I mean, it's fitting to put a forge in this one, actually. Found these plans of metal on the old walls. Can you make this for me? These are the plans for Scorn. And you have the metal we need to make it. Found this helmet in Ruskan. This is the Hawkeye helm. Okay. Watch some shit, baby. Oh, that's some good stuff I can make now. Ooh, this looks like a promising javelin. I need six recruits. I'll need 70 bronze rings, I can get that. 7 bronze ingots, don't have that. I could definitely make this though. I have 4 bronze ingots, I'll need 3 more. And I'll need some more recruits. Okay, I could probably use a merchant for light armor, because I'm actually having more trouble finding that than heavy, and most of us use light. Control Vigor and Control Stone, I do actually believe that uh, Lantry is using that. Just double check. That uses Vigor. Okay, no, I actually don't need it that bad. Sorry for the silence, I'm just perusing over everything. We should probably go to the Ocean Spire. And I reckon I will hire this person who can get us some bronze ingots. What's the maintenance cost? Not very much. Yeah, let's get some bronze ingots. Yeah, I can definitely afford this. I don't really need unique weapons anymore. I'm actually probably going to be more interested in the magic stuff at the moment. Especially because Lantry is quite powerful. Oh, I can forge my own stuff? Select a weapon or armor from your inventory to upgrade. Fucking hello. Upgrades to masterwork. Requires 7 bronze ingots and 50 gold. This would make it... Oh, this is... I should have made this a long time ago. 
Okay, yeah, we'll get we're definitely gonna get uh too merchants up here. We're gonna get both the gold and the uh iron iron person. Is there anything I could repair for like slightly cheaper? I mean everything here is gonna be expensive. Okay, yeah, so we need hide, bronze and uh iron. Easy enough. Yeah, there are some incredible weapons I can make. This is increased armor penetration, increases accuracy by 20%. This thing is fantastic. Actually, if we could increase armor penetration, I know who could actually use this. Oh, okay, you're a master of weapons, so you can't be upgraded. You, on the other hand, could. Let's see. Okay, yeah, no, you don't have any armor penetration, so you won't get an upgrade. Fair enough. Okay, well at least I know all the stuff is available. Now let's go to the other spire. The ocean spire. And that's gonna make travel back to the bastard city much easier. Yeah, let's get a new sigil scroll. Recruit that shit. Alright, so I need more recruits. So let's get... Uh... Really? The control vigor person isn't here? Okay. Well, teaching law is useful, so let's get you. I don't know what control emotions is, but that looks interesting, so let's get that too. And you should have some uh, new scores for me. Recipe, Azure Bell, thank you. Take that. More scrolls for Lantry. Hey, I've actually done it three times. Anyone can do it, I guess. Like, if you think about the wording, you'll find that there's some options. <laughs> True. To know more about you. Where were you born? I grew up in Sunder. I was born right after independence from the realm of Stalwart, so yeah, do the math. Oh yeah, that was a dependent on the choice they made. Yeah, he's 84. He's pretty spry. He's actually kind of got decent muscle strength in his arms too. Any other family? Irrelevant if they exist, they are the strangers. Family ties are severed when joining with the sages. As a novice, I was assigned to the dovecoats, where I learned how to raise and groom birds that ca dovecoats to raise and groom birds to carry missives, and most of my early terms are on that subject. Ten years and several terms later, someone decided I was ready to be welcomed to the inner circle. Oh. How do you feel about Kairos? How can I not help but find him to be the most captivating person alive? alive? Him. The man has spent empires claim concepts where he goes history falls. I won't deny he's killed millions. I contend more would have died in Petty Wars across the waters. 
Why does he call him him? Isn't it a she? Strange. Maybe they didn't change that dialogue. Like I don't know if it was like original and then they switched. Oh, okay, I see. I know everything, except for who's been saying that. <laughs> Do you know think about the Bane? A shame Sage Cloven Close was due to a pile of ash. Man, you all that's been written on the subject. Many of them know we've summed up from the name. The full time for them is Mage Bane, and there's a good reason for it. A prey upon anything that moves. So about the Havocs? Territorial, let's see. Okay, Malices are the strongest. I have a fucking cat invasion going on. Will do. I'll tell you what, uh, in honor of getting this new spire, let's go back to Tunon's court. Oh, it still takes a while because there's, I forget, you have to go around the old wall, which makes it pretty long. Oh well. I don't know if there's like random events I've been missing here, so I just wanted to come back. It doesn't actually seem like it. Nope. Can't have a real knack for yourself breaking the Overlord's edicts left and right. Whatever Tunon's paying for your service, you're due for a raise. You're right, I am. I should actually ask her that he pay more rings for the spires I'm taking. <laughs> Not only have you given your voice to the Overlord's will, but you're breaking Caster's magic. Exposing myself to powers I don't understand. What was about taking risk and you're putting yourself out there more than anyone? Can't help but respect that. I'm here if you need me, but I don't have a mind for arcane wisdom, so I'll do whatever I can to get a little gang through this war. If it looks like your strength is flagging, I'll put you out of your misery and take control. So cheer up. Oh, So sweet. Tell me about yourself. I'm a Scarlet Fury. That should raise some flags for you. The neat part I won't enjoy are the pleasures of funerary rites packed with weeping mourners. Someday I'll fall in battle, and then they'll roll me into a mass grave or keep me atop a shit-stained wagon. One more anonymous nice little piece of music. Until then, I plan to take whatever I can for life and have a little fun along the way. Hmm. How'd you get conscripted? Oh, you strode into their camp and enlisted. Huh. You ever wish you were in a different army? Aren't the Overlord's army being trampled by it? Could have labored on the family farm, married some dolt, lit in a nursery, sealing piglets, had my body torn to pieces by smaller versions of me. Sounds like fun. The one day when I decided I was, I sent my husband, blah, 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 join the chorus anyway. Hmm. Could have given that life a chance, and you don't know me at all. Fair enough. I was being nice, but my, I, I guess calling you a murderer would have actually pleased you, so I don't know why I bothered. Oh shit. I actually could have put Shagger more strong. I actually gotta make sure that I uploaded the other parts of this because I hope they aren't like going out of date. Let me just double check that right now. Because I gotta upload the part I did a couple days ago and I know that one's still fine. But I do hope that I haven't missed out on anything. Oh, Albert, can you hear me still? Yeah. Okay. I just thought my internet died for a second. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, these are taking a while to load. Is Steam downloading something? No, it isn't. What 
hell could possibly taking it this long to there we go Have a look at my videos please taking really long time to load I mean, my internet's actually been slower since they upgraded, ironically. It doesn't drop nearly as much though, so I, it's kind of a trade-off I'm okay with. Yeah. Like, I'll ring them up if it goes below, like, 6 megabytes, but it's usually been fine. I'll tell you what, while it's loading, let's get to that shrine. So I have to go to Jagged Moor. Wait. Actually, no, I'll tell you what, before I leave... Let's just double check my quest. See, the other two are in the Stone Sea, which necessitates going where we are going anyway. So I have to go to Jagged Moor Shrine. Let's see. During the Conquest Craven, Ash and Can to destroy during Fort in the Realm of Apex, costing the Scarlet Course many potential recruits. That's not really creating civil war and disruption in the region. I guess we're supposed to see who's really like responsible for starting the civil war. Both of them. It, it's, both they're both responsible. The slave forces were either unqualified or too unmanned to take Dustwatch by force, displaying Ash's misappropriation of soldiers even in his own territory. That's true, they did want the Steadfast insignia, so they sent me, which is, uh, sus. Colluding with the Unbroken region, I wouldn't really say that's evidence of them doing poorly, that's more like, just shit that happens. You know, like, you can't really prevent a single individual from becoming friends with other people. Okay. During the cut, that's true, that is what he wanted to do. So I would also hold that as a positive for them in this technical trial that we would be holding. During the conquest essence, his soldiers to march on Sentinel stand, even though the edict was imminent. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, that's, stupid. That's, I mean, that's, that's honestly, if he wasn't a magical embodiment of war, that would probably get him removed from command. So. Yeah. But again, it's who's responsible for the civil war between the voices and the rat. They both hate each other. It's pretty obviously both of them, but... I think Graven Ash is, uh, like, a stubborn asshole. Yeah. And the voice is in a rat's a dick, so... Yeah, I mean, the funneling weapons of the Vengeance Guard is really sus. As is getting the Silent Archive. So they were trying to get the Silent Archive and... I mean, to be fair, you can't really use that one against them because you took the Silent Archive. Huh? Yes. But I'm built different. <laughs> like, just getting the Silent Archive is just, like, a reasonable thing to do. That's true. Okay, uh, I don't have to worry about expirations because the next two that are going to expire in, like, five days... So, I just have to double check the length of the last video that was uploaded. Yes, I do actually have to upload both of these videos. Because there was one that was an hour. I did that on July the 16th. And now I'm doing this one today. Oh, no. No, yeah, I've got actually got a couple of these to upload. Because I have... There's an hour one before this. Before the previous one, rather. Then there's one that's an hour and 40 minutes. Which is the one that's... Pardon me. The one that um, I streamed just before today. And then there's the one today. So I actually streamed two days ago and then a week ago. Ooh, and Carlton and Vendrian as well. But the important thing is none of these videos are going to disappear, which is the actual worry. Yeah. The road winds through a narrow ravine. You're considering how it would make an excellent locale for an ambush, even as the bronze armor soldiers step onto the road before you. Glancing back the way you came and confirm the suspicions, the way back is blocked by additional warriors. The soldiers draw blades and bows, face... Faces oh, creased no. with strats. Oh no. Bandages peek from gaps in ill maintained armor, and the banner they part in the soul is more tattered than heraldry. They don't make you they they don't make you wait to learn their attention, however. 
This is for Apex, Fatebinder. Whore of the Overlord. This is for the nation you despoiled and the heroes you murdered. For Vendrin Rowell and its guard. Arrows are knocked. Heads glistening with poison oil. Prepare to meet the void. Let's, let's, let's talk this out. Your heads are your weapon. You consider your words carefully. Shut the fuck up. Let's defuse Wait, the situation. Did you, like, bait the, did you like bait the queen into fighting you? What queen? Like in the, in the conquest. Oh, I think I might have. No, wait, no, I don't think I did that. I think I... D I don't remember. It's been a little while. I'd have to check again. You began to speak to them with the common dispassion learned in court when the Oathbreaker holds a javelin at you. It seems there won't be any parlay. Hey, yeah, it's for your benefit, not mine. Think they have a champion. <laughs> oh, God, this isn't even a challenge. Yeah. That's why I tried not to have this happen. It's true, I guess. I, I guess so. <laughs> that seems like a rather cool and callous way to put it, but... God. Oh shit. Not even really worth lobbing. Let's get out of here. I'm just glad that all of the uh, Maya videos are still there because it's like, wait, shit, did I actually fuck up? Have we got another level up? Oh, Barrack has another level up. Good. You know what? Honestly? Hmm. I'm actually going to start increasing his accuracy a bit so he can hit more and deflect some hits. Just a little bit. Maybe like to 12. That's a treat. Okay. Oh, that's a good ability. Once per combat when back's health, which is a critical level, he will be healed instantly. Oh, there's some good abilities in here. Once we're combat and back self is critical, we gain a significant armor bonus. Mm. Well, let's start with the healing first. That makes more sense. I actually, FYI, uh, I think all games should do this. One thing I actually really like is that um, healing from like small, medium, and large healing potions or whatever, they're done off percentages and not like numbers. So they scale, yes. Yeah, I know, because I hate that, because it's like, you get to a point where it's like, healing potions just do not work, basically. Like, the basic ones, especially. Because I, I always hate that, because what ends up happening, even in, especially in the long term... What's this? Eh, this is worth it. Shit. I already know that sigil, anyway. But what happens is, is uh, I think um, a couple games that come to mind when I think about this is uh, probably... God, I actually know, I can't... Cyberpunk, that's the game I was going to mention. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. Cyberpunk has a shit ton of like vials and healing things. And there's like 15 or 20 of them. Because, oh, this is like the super good one that's for like level 20s versus this is the shitty ones for like level 1s. And it's just like, 
If you put them off percentages, you wouldn't have to do the... I mean, they only have, like, four healing items. It's just that, like, once you're not, like, high level, the, the, the weaker ones yeah. go literally. You go from full healing, you doing nothing. Yeah. And also, if you do it off a scale, you can actually balance how many will, like, spawn for people. Because the problem is, is when you do it off numbers, you have to make sure that, like, the ones that have the higher numbers spawn more consistently for a higher level player, right? But if they're on percentage points, you can just make it common based on how many percentage points are being healed across the board. So, like, getting a full heal would still be rare at high levels, if that makes sense. Fate Binder. The soldier salutes you. With a smack of a meaty fist on bronzed armor. Lieutenant Cadus, at your service, sir. He jerks a thumb, his gauntlet caked with dust and blood, towards the mountain of a man behind him. Won't get to him, won't get him to a minute, but Radix is too. That's Commander Ironcore to you, baby brother. And you as well, Fatebinder. The wee Iron Guard casts a steely gaze in your direction, without offering you salute. Oh, forgive me if I don't have time to entertain idle pleasantries. We're on a campaign of the highest importance. I'm sure you understand. I do, but I'm not sure why you couldn't give me the salute. It would have taken five seconds. Cadus clears his throat. <coughs> <coughs> Statues in lazy attention, a hand resting comfortably on the hilt of his bronze sword. I humbly apologize for the both of us. But if you don't mind me asking, what's brought you to these pots, sir? Sure, she looks pretty. But don't let those big peaks fool you. The land's a tangle of danger. I'm here on behalf of the court and the disfavored. We have to secure the Stone Sea. So you do come with a purpose. The Iron Guard turns the crushing weight of his attention on you, one strengthened by both magic and the austerity of his resolve. After a moment, the severe severity of his scrutiny slowly crumbles and he nods, as if to an unspoken decision. I'd be a fool to turn down the aid of a fate binder, especially one so renowned. I'll accept any assistance I can in uniting with my Earthshakers at Howling Rock and defending the fort they have erected around Cairn's remnants. What the commander is trying to say is we're beholden to have you. Mm. Getting to Howling Rock's the easy part. Only it hasn't been that easy. We've been waylaid with cause forces and beasts. The bloodthirsty sons of Kurs. Mark my words. Don't worry, I'll get us through Howling Rock, regardless of who's in our way. That's what I like to hear, sir. He draws a sword and, crouching, carves a basic map into the slick, covered ground. Shh, shh, shh. Fastest routes through Stone Down Gorge, of course. The air is swarming. Carve us a path and we'll follow close on your heels. Get us there in one piece and I'll name my broadsword in your honor, sir. 